Welcome to this updated modding guide for Seto Corsa. In this video I'm gonna show you everything you will need to know about as a beginner how to get started playing AC. So basically for that there are three main mods done that you will need to install. The first of one is gonna be Content Manager. That is the launcher for the game where you can install all the mods that you need like cars, tracks and stuff like that. The second one will improve your graphics, so that is the custom shader patch. Also with this with this mod you will get uh, rain effects in the game. And the third one is pure, or you can also get a free version of that, that is called Sol. This one will improve your uh, graphics, you will get awesome sky dome effects, and uh, better shaders so yeah for pure and the custom shader patch you will need to pay one one euro per month all the links will be in the video description so let's get started with the content manager for that just go to the first link from the video description and make sure that you have all the requirements already installed so you will be avoiding any kind of issues that you can get after that also this is the free version of content manager you can also get a paid one i think it's like you can donate any any kind of amount that you like to get it with the paid one you will get some pre release fashion with some ex with some extra work and dedication so yeah for everyone that is considering to play it seriously i would recommend to get it but for this video we're gonna start with the free version of that so press on download Also, if the first link is not working, you can try the second link or the third link. Now that you have this installed, extract it. Uh, you, can track the, you can track the folder in here on desktop. Open it and open Content Manager. Okay. So in here, oh, also you might get this content manager that update. So if you get this, uh, cancel this one first and then open it. So that will make sure that you will install the latest uh, version of content manager. So now you will, need, you will need to select the root folder from where the game is installed. For that, you can just go to Steam, search for Assetto Corsa, press on Properties, go to Installed Files, Browse, and press on this empty space, and now just copy the location. Now go back and just paste it in here. Here, just select your Steam account that uh, you're playing AC on. Here, just put your name. This name is gonna be visible on multiplayer servers. And for the plugins, install the first two. These two will be enough for the average user, but it won't harm if you have them all installed. like that you can press on ok now and there we go you have it installed on the top left corner you can select the car that you are driving here you can select the tracks up here you can change the weather settings and on the bottom you can change the events and also you can add 
traffics or AI and stuff like that. Also, you make sure that you are playing on a map that supports uh, AI. If not, you will get a error with race cancelled. So yeah, if you get that error, you just go, you just go and play on practice mode, and then you you're gonna play it. On the top left corner here, you can play your game career. Also, if you go to online, here you can join all the multiplayer servers that are available for you. Here you can search for a specific server if you type in here. So yeah, on the top right corner you have all the tabs. As you can see here on media, for example, you have you can save, you can save the gameplay that you just played and watch it again. Here are all the cars that you have installed and here are the game settings. So most likely first time if you install content manager you won't you will have here a notification to install the custom shader patch. So just press on install and make sure that you have the latest version installed and also if you're gonna get the paid version of custom shader patch so you will be able to to get rain effect rain effects in the game just go to the patreon link in the description And after you go down here, search for for this one, as you can see. Maybe I think he has also yeah. So the latest version for the custom for the lights patch is this one, 02.5. Press on download. Extract this one. So yeah, and now you got those two files. Now go again to the game folder. So as before, you just go here to browse so from yeah. Steam. And now you got those two files. Now. And just take these two files that you just uh, have downloaded, the extension and the DLL file, and just drag them in here in the game folder. Press on replace. Okay, now you can restart the content manager. And as you can see, now we have the preview version installed. So basically that means yeah, you have the paid version installed and you can use rain effects in game that I will show you later. And now to for the pure installation, you go to the pay, Patreon link and install the latest, latest version from down from down here just try them out in case one link doesn't work try the other one after that you just open the folder and you will see this folder open this one as well and do the same thing as for the custom shader patch. Just go to the game folder and drag these four folders in here. Press on replace.
Okay, so now you can open Content Manager. And you can go down here to Weather FX. And as you can see, it's already installed now. Just select, just select this one. Also, if you need uh, all the video settings presets and uh, stuff like that, you can find you can you can find it on in my Discord server. So basically, you can find everything here. Also, the post process filter that uh, also we can install right now. You just go to this link. doesn't really matter which one uh, you can choose you can get the maven public one or the c13 you can uh, you can find it also on on the patreon site from him so yeah now extract the filter open it And for it to install, you can just use this one, the installation thing. Select where the game is located. Okay, installation complete. Press enter. And we can check now. Go to Assetto Corsa video, and then as you can see here, enable post process effects. Make sure that this is enabled, and just select uh, select the one that you just download. If you have if you have a good PC, just select all of this on Mac settings, or you can just go to my uh, Discord server. Go down here and you will see this preset just press on it and then press apply on and save and then all the settings will be as mine you will have the same settings okay also i forgot to mention how to install the cars and tracks so for that it's that simple you just go to the you just find out what traffic uh, what car pack you want to download just download it the same goes out for the maps you have uh, you just download the zip file the zip folder then you take it you just take the zip folder and you drag it in the content manager as you can see and now on the top right corner you press on right here and you can install them that goes for the cars and for the tracks it's the same thing so now we can join a game and I will show you how to set up the sky dome and the weather Now press on go. Okay, so now that you are in the game, you will uh, open up this menu if you start the game. And here you can select and change plenty of things like the tires. You can change the type of tires, the pressure, how much fuel you get in the auto, and also how much power. So you have plenty of things here. Just press on the wheel. To start the game and as you can see the shaders the post process filter is working as you can see from the reflections of the car you can make that you can turn on the lights okay so now 
just go to the top right corner drag your mouse on the top right corner here and then press on all apps and search in here for pure planner and this is for the weather so you can change the weather however you like it here you can change the time and also you can put it on zero so like put it like that so you, the, the weather doesn't change and the time also doesn't change and you can press on this wheel go to weather preset and here you can select the sky dome effect so how the sky should look like as you can see here for example the scattered clouds looks like that also it depends on what time you are and for example the broken clouds will look like this so yeah also in here you can select the rain amount if you like it to rain you can put this one on the rain wetness and make sure that you go also on all apps and search for weather search for weather in here epics debug press on rain debug and check this one override thickness make sure it's on zero so you need to have this enabled if you are playing on rain so your car will not slip as much oh, let me add some traffic So yeah, if, uh, in case if you want to play on this specific map, I made a tutorial for that two weeks ago where I explained how to insert this map and how to insert traffic. And yeah, as you can see everything is working. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and see you in the next video.